All right, Ben, go ahead. Uh, hey, Osa, good morning. Good morning, how are you doing? Good, good, thank you. Uh, a couple of things. Uh, to, to start with, uh, Coach Kelly said that, uh, you know, the start of practice would be an eye opener in terms of kind of seeing where, what guys look like after this strange off season. Uh, what, what did you see from the, from the defense in terms of uh, whether guys were in football shape? Was there a big variety of, uh, of, of readiness amongst the guys or did you feel like everybody was, was kind of in a good place? I feel like guys were in a good place. We did a good job of staying connected over the off season, just keeping each other accountable and that paid off. So I feel like we came in ready and we've been back for a while now. So that kind of is helping us to be ready to play football. We've been back working for the whole summer, just staying ready for whatever the outcome was. It wasn't looking like we were going to have a season, but we're still working out just in the that we did. And look at us now, we're in camp day two. Did you uh, consider uh, maybe not playing this year and focusing on the NFL? Or what, what uh, kind of went into your decision? Um, there's a whole lot that went into my decision. I mean, I didn't want to go out on an opt out in general. So ideally being able to play was my number one option. I also want to increase my draft stock as well in that regard. So I feel like I wanted to play this whole time, but just a lot of things were going on. Just had to not be too hasty or too rash or anything like that. Just just keep working out. Just keep staying in shape for whatever happens, you know. Just plan for every possible outcome. And I feel like it's working out. Rick Kimbrell. Rick, you're still Rick. muted. Okay, hey, got it. Hear you. Got it. Sorry about that. How are you doing, man? Doing well. How about yourself? Outstanding. Thank you. Tell us about uh, Johnny Nance and what, what's he bringing? How, how much time have you been able to spend with him? Because your spring practice was cut off short, but what's he bringing to the table? And also, what do you guys have to do on the defensive end of the football to uh, make a giant jump? I feel like uh, a lot of time with Nance has been good over the offseason, just being able to watch film with him and pick it just having him help me teach on an offense and blocking schemes and things like that, just being able to recognize certain situations and whatnot, just increasing my football IQ has helped a lot in the offseason when we can do drills together in person. And then just being able to work technique with him since we've been back has been good. Mike Regalado. Morning, Osa. How you doing? Um, I just wanted to ask, you know, what are your thoughts about the NCA granting uh, an extra year of eligibility? How does that help you out? How does it, how does that help out, uh, you know, other members of the team? Um, I think that extra year just kind of gives guys peace of mind and knowing and whatever they do, whether they opt out, whether they decide to play this year, that they're going to be able to come back because like we said, like this is uncharted territory, like no one has been through this before. So that has a plethora of different effects on how someone was able to work in the off season, you know, and that they're ready next for the season. So that could lead to guys opting out or guys coming back and you never know, like they might get injured, things like that. This is a whole lot going on with COVID right now. So that's just extra insurance. I feel like that's a good thing. Let's go to Sam Conan. Hey, so how you doing? Doing well. You? Pretty well. So uh, you had a bunch of the starting linebackers from last year leave and graduate, and it's kind of a, a new young core there. Have you got to practice with them a, a lot before this week, or is this really the first time you're kind of working with the the new linebacking core? Uh, we've been we've been working through for a while now. Even before we got into camp, just working on getting the scheme down and everything. So I feel like they're coming along well. And we do have some guys that have been here before, even though with even with the, the losses that we took, we have all the guys that have been here for a long time. Lange and Bo, I see them taking the charge, leading the group, making sure everybody's on on their stuff, you know. Let's go back to Ben. And Coach Pellin's no joke either. 
Um, last spring and the little bit that we got to see you guys, it seemed like maybe you were moving to more of a four two five alignment defensively. Um, is that the case? And if so, what are what are the benefits of, of doing that? Uh, that's pretty accurate. I would say a lot more a lot more four down looks and just being able to go vertical more, which is something that I like. You know, Coach Coach Norwood uh, ran that uh, w with what they were doing over at Navy. Has he had a lot of input uh, in, in what you guys are doing defensively? Indeed. What what's what's been his kind of uh, you know he's known as someone who really connects well with players in addition to to being good with scheme. What what has he brought to the defense? He brings a lot of good energy, you know. Um, from what I hear, I got a couple of defensive backs as my roommate, you know. They uh they like him a lot. He brings good energy. He he relates to them really well, and that leads to like a, a, a better understanding between the player and the coach, and that's just leading to increase of play, a good relationship, a guy you feel like you could run through a wall for, you know. Tony Saracusa. Hey, Osa, one of the challenges last year was getting in enough pressure on the quarterback from the defensive line. Uh, what have you done during the off season to, to help improve that skill set? Watching a lot of film, working whenever I can. It was quarantine, but, you know, I just went home, got in my zone. I was just trying to get ahead, you know, trying to look at the quarantine and use it as an opportunity to work on my hands, just improve in that regard. <laughs> Let's go back to Rick Kimbrell. I, I didn't hear if you answered the question or not. What do you guys do uh, uh, have to do to take the defense to the next step to become a more dominant defense? I feel like we just got to polish it up, you know? Tackles, all phases, you know, we just got to polish things up. Got to, you know, they're getting more experience, getting a higher football IQ, and just progress the team as a whole, you know? Are you Do you feel that you're uh, making progress in that direction? I'll say so. What makes What makes you say that? What are the things that you are doing to take that next step? Well, getting more and more competitive. Energy is pretty good, you know. So I feel like that's just helping. The guys are guys are taking not the before I always do. Just more pride, you know. More of a competitive, uh, more of a competitive practice, passion. Everyone's happy to be back, you know. Uh, two, two things for you. Uh, who, who, I know uh, Antonio's moved over to, to offense now. Uh, who's been running with you uh, on the ones on the D-line? And, uh, and then also, I know last offseason you took a big leadership role in, in organizing uh, kind of informal workouts. Have you, did you do that this, uh, this offseason? It was a bigger challenge because of the virus? Uh, definitely was hard to organize workouts with guys when we're all back at home, you know. Well, impossible. So uh, we're just making sure we're keeping each other accountable, sending videos on of good technique, breaking it down. We're just trying to encourage people to stay working. And the rest, when you're back home, you know, it's up to you. So, but we all here for each other still at the same time, you know. Who's been, who's been uh, running with you with the ones on the line? Um, it's a, we're still figuring it out right now. We just got into camp, so guys are still shuffling around. We're going to see who steps it up. Okay, right, thank you. Hey, Osa. <clears throat> Last couple of years, the, uh, the, the uh, run defense has uh, uh, improved. What do you think about it this year? How good can the defensive line be? And do you think... Uh, you guys are, are focusing on quickness more than size. Well, what, what's uh, what's the deal with the defensive line? Um, 
I would say just physicality is always going to help your run defense up front. And then the less tackles you miss, the better the defense is going to get regardless, you know. So just dialing those things up is always going to improve our run defense. Okay, let's go to Rick. Just a couple more here. Yeah, Osa, uh, I think a lot of UCLA fans would like to know how your brother's doing, Owa. How, how's he doing? And do you, have you been able to talk to him? And has he helped you out in your game at all? He's been helping me out with my game since I started playing football. He's doing well. He's back home, Vancouver, Washington area, Portland area. Uh, it was good to be back home with him as well. So it was, uh, it was like having another coach or a mentor that I would be able to break down film with, watch film with, and just critique last year's film, seeing what I need to improve on, always working out, doing drills. So it was great to have him in person when I was uh, back home. Tyler, uh, how did you handle the seven month break between uh, spring practice being ended early and uh, coming back here starting yesterday? And, and, and how, uh, what kind of football shape would you say you're in right now? Oh uh, man, the last seven months has, have been crazy. Uh, <laughs> And downs, but uh, you know, I was just trying my best just to stay in shape. I mean, being uh, back home in the Bay Area, just trying to do my best just to uh, uh, stay with the workouts and just try to get into those places uh, uh, just to work out and uh, try to find those uh, facilities and stuff. And I mean, just taking my dogs on runs and walks. And uh, I mean, <laughs> I tried my best just to try to stay in shape that way. Right now, uh, it's been a work in progress for sure. I mean, uh, definitely uh, our first couple of weeks. Uh, couple, I mean, man, we've been here for a little bit. So uh, back in LA. So I mean, uh, just tried my best just to uh, while we were here, just to uh, run with uh, some of the other boys, and uh, you know, just every day, just throughout practice, just trying to push uh, push myself and just encourage one another, uh, all, all the other defensive line, just to in those times of fatigue, just to get out of your own head and encourage one another just to push uh, and just push yourself to the limit, really. Uh, for sure, knowing that Colorado is uh, got that thin air up there. So, I mean, yeah. Mike. Morning, Taylor. How you doing? How are you doing? Uh, good, thank you. I wanted to ask you about the new coach, Brian Norwood. Um, what tweaks has he made to the defense, and uh, what do you think about his uh, impression on what you guys are doing going forward? Man, Coach Norwood, he for sure, he's the DB coach. So, I mean, uh, man, not too much on the D line. We just put our hand in the dirt and uh, try to get upfield and, I mean, strike our man on key. And, I mean, that's. that's same thing we were learning last year is the same thing we're doing this year. And uh, yeah, not this so much stuff. Rick. Hi, how you doing, man? How you doing? doing Outstanding. Well, Good to see you. Hey, talk to us about Johnny Nansen, uh, the defensive line coach. What's he bringing to the table and what's it like being with him in the room? Man, Coach Nansen, uh, man, he's a, he, I love the, I love his energy, man. He uh, he encourages us and he just pushes us to our limit each and every day. I mean, uh, just just man, really, just his energy is is contagious. I mean, I think his his, his biggest line is no juice, you're useless. So, I mean, just him bringing that juice every day, every morning. He's coming into the meeting room hot and ready. Uh, just juice, juice, really, man. That's just the main thing I've took, taken away from him so far. And him just pushing us to our limit. I mean, uh, and just encourage us to get better each and every day. Let's go back to Ben. Uh, we were talking to Osa before you, and then obviously uh, we, we saw a little bit of you guys in the spring and it looked like maybe uh, more of a, of a four-two-five on defense. Uh, what 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 do you hope to get out of this new kind of scheme that you guys are running? What are the benefits? Uh, you know, just same. I mean, 
Coach Anthony has just been preaching to us just to get off the ball. So, I mean, each and every day we're just working to get off the ball and just, I mean, if we can displace the line of scrimmage, that's just going to help us out uh, up front and uh, just get pressure on the QB, whatnot, and just uh, get in the backfield, just try to contribute to our defense each and every way, for sure. Go back to Mike. The last few years, you guys have improved with the run defense. Um, how do you see it improving even more going forward? And do you see uh, an improvement with the pass rush? Uh, yeah, I mean, like I said, each and every day, we, we just, we're just trying to get better. I mean, uh, I know we've got a lot of guys who've uh, got that game time experience. So, I mean, uh, it's good to know that they're going to be to the left and to the right of us. So, I mean, uh, we can rely on them and uh, just encourage one another, really. And just, I mean, our run game for sure, just striking and uh, just knowing run schemes. And, I mean, learning with Coach Nansen, he's been teaching us a lot, just uh, different formations and stuff like that. Uh, pass rush wise, I mean, like we said, we got to get to the quarterback and by any means. So, I mean, just getting off the ball and getting to the quarterback is uh, what we've been working on each and every day. Rick? Yeah, it, it's kind of the same in the same uh, line of questioning. How can your defense become the dominating defense that it's going to take for you guys to take the next step? What are the things you have to do? As a oh, for sure, it has to start up front. I mean, we uh, if we can get pressure and displace the line of scrimmage, get to the quarterback, uh, it doesn't have to be a sack every time, batted balls and uh, just quarterback hurries is uh, going to help us out tremendously. So, uh, you know, that's, that's our main focus right now, just uh, getting off the ball and getting to the quarterback by any means. Okay, last couple questions. Let's go back to Ben. Um, I know that uh, Antonio went over to offense and Martin Andrus is coming back from an injury. Uh, who, who else, uh, I mean, you and uh, Osa are kind of known quantities. Who else is, is, I know we're early in camp here, but uh, who else is, is, is running with you guys and looking good and you think can contribute to help this year? Uh, we, we got a lot of different rotations. We don't know who, uh, we got Daytona Jackson, we got Odua Isabor, and uh, you know we just we just gonna rotate and see. Uh, we just gonna put our best foot forward each and every day. Come out here and compete with one another, and we'll see in four weeks who's gonna who's gonna be out there rotating. Is is Martin Andrus uh, back with you guys, or is he still? Uh, yeah, Martin Andrus is back. He's working with us. And he's just getting better. We, we're all getting better each and every day. Just trying to stay healthy and. Uh, yeah, just stay injury free, man. Knock on wood. Uh, last one. Let's go to Rick. Are any of the young guys, the new freshmen, uh, are any of them uh, standing out early in the camp? Uh, you know, we got a lot of uh, young guys on the outside. Uh, Damian Sellers. Uh, well, we got Miles Jackson and uh, Chase Strother Bryant. I mean, everyone's just putting their foot forward. I mean, we also got Vinny Kafusi on with us. So, I mean, we're just all trying to encourage one another and just push each other to our limit. And uh, regardless of if they've been here and had experience or, or not, we're just, everybody's in there learning and just trying to put, put everything together, put all those missing parts together and, Hopefully get it rolling by the 7th of November.